everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily from Emily Cromwell Designs and I design colorful and happy bookish merch for readers. Today is the start of prepping for Black Friday, which is the busiest time of the year for my business. So right when it becomes Black Friday is when things just get so crazy around here. And I know you're probably sitting there thinking to yourself like, um, yeah, it seems like it's kind of been a little bit crazy over there the past few weeks, and you would be correct. But it gets even crazier if you can believe that. <laughs> so I am mentally preparing and also physically preparing by getting products ready. So today we need to prep products, and I'm so grateful because the universe finally heard my calls of please give me an easier time and go easy on me because all the products that I needed for Black Friday because I'm also doing a little shop update with the sale have arrived on time and in perfect condition except for one thing but we're working with it you know what I'm not even gonna bat an eye I'm just like we're just gonna roll with it so today we are just prepping what we can today's Saturday I'm getting a little bit of a late start today it's about 1 p.m. at this point but before we get into this can I just tell you guys the absolute craziness that happened last night okay buckle up so Friday night you know right I was picturing it was gonna be like a cozy night at home after a week of like packing orders being really tired just relaxing with a book watching a TV show no, no, that did not happen because this, oh my God, the stress that I went through. I finished working, I started working yesterday at 8.30 in the morning. I'm looking at the clock as if it's gonna tell me what time I stopped working. Okay. Anywho, I started working yesterday at like 8.30 in the morning. I stopped working. I finished packing orders around 8 p.m. Just to give you an idea of how long the workday was. And I... <laughs> This was insane. I went to print out, start printing out the shipping labels, right? Okay. And it said printer is in error state, can't connect to the printer. I'm like, I've been printing all day. Why would it suddenly stop working? So I tried to print to my inkjet printer, which instead of my label printer, that was having the same thing. And it's like network error. I'm like, what? I couldn't figure it out. And by this point, I was just so frustrated because I was so hungry, I was so tired. So I had to go online and talk with the computer support chat people. They had to like do like a remote take control of my screen to try to figure it out. I was on the remote and like chat thing with them for an hour and a half. So that got us to 9.30 p.m. And it still hadn't been fixed. And finally, I'm like going through it and I told them, I was like, just forget it. Like, I'll just try to look into this. So I uninstalled both printers. I deleted all the drivers, had to try to reinstall them again, figure out how to find the drivers again because I don't have a CD drive in my computer. I was in so many tears. I was so frustrated. All to find out. I mean, and I was getting ready to buy a brand new computer, brand new printers because I'm like, this is my busiest time of the year. I can't afford for the technology to just go down, right? I was panicking. Not low-key panicking. I was high-key panicking. All to find out my stepdad had just gotten home yesterday evening after being gone a few days. And he brought my mom's Wi-Fi hotspot with him. I guess when he came home, he forgot to turn it off. And it was still on upstairs without me noticing or my computer alerting me. My computer switched from my Wi-Fi down here to the Wi-Fi hotspot and all of my printers are wireless so they only work if the computer and the printers are using the same Wi-Fi. So the whole issue could have been prevented if I had just seen that my computer was on the wrong Wi-Fi. When I, t <laughs> I was so upset. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was not happy. I wasted so much time. I went upstairs to find my stepdad. I'm like, I hope you realize I almost just dropped like $3,000 on a new laptop and new printers. I'm like, this could have been really bad. But that was last night. So we are much better today. But I am taking a break from packing the holiday launch orders uh, this weekend and kind of rest a little bit and prep for Black Friday. <laughs> so, so for the Black Friday, I'll just tell the Black Friday, not the Black Friday, for Black Friday. I wanted to tell you guys real quick about the deals that we're gonna be having. So 
I'll tell you first about the shop update. So for the Black Friday shop update, everything, the shop update and the sale are going live at 11 a.m. Eastern time on Black Friday. And the shop update is going to be a big restock of all the washi tape that has been sold out for a few months now that has been sitting in my studio waiting for me to put labels on it and get it ready. That's gonna be restocked. I'm also restocking all of my like everyday bookish earring designs. So like the professional bookworm, the floral book stack. And then I'm also, I'm very very excited just hoping hoping to the universe that these turn out right but they're out for delivery today is all of the brand new book review journals and I'll talk a little bit more about those when they get here once I make sure they come out correctly but then I'm also going to have brand new tote bags I'm gonna have a limited amount of those and then I've restocked a ton of things like notepads all that stuff I wasn't able to get a new weekly planner notepad done just with everything going on I couldn't do it but I will have a new one eventually it might just be in January though so because this is my really this yeah this is my last big launch of the year before the holidays so this is it <laughs> and we also behind my pillow here I will show you we are going to have holiday gift bags so those are the ones that they're kind of printed a bit incorrectly the design just isn't as centered as I wanted it to be but they're still really cute and usable so I'm gonna sell those as misprint gift bags and then we're gonna have new notebooks a restock of other notebooks like the spiral notebooks that everyone's been asking for and then more new notebooks of like the artificial like leather hardbound ones with like the string strap ribbon whatever you call it I don't know it, that's gonna be the shop update I feel like I'm forgetting something and I know I am so if I think of it I will let you know but then also for the sale is my Black Friday sale is that my entire shop including all the things in the shop update all the new things everything literally everything in the shop is going to be 25% off. 25. And it's not just going to be on Black Friday. It's going to be a couple days I'm going to have the sale. So it's going to be Black Friday through Tuesday. So it's going to be a couple days that you can shop the sale. And it is the only time that my entire shop has such a big discount on it. So this is like the big kahuna so to say so this is the time if there's stuff in my shop you've been wanting this is the only time every literally everything is going to be 25 percent off i mean planners i mean yeah everything so that's going to be the sale so we just need to start prepping right now i am going to start printing the labels for i don't know how many stickers i need for the washi tape but i'm just going to start printing maybe i should count that first yeah i'm going to count that first so i just have an exact amount so i don't overprint and use more sticker paper than i need to because i'm low on that and then let's see after the washi maybe i'll do the earrings after that and then i want to show you guys all the new stuff that we got to say we're gonna have enough washi tape for this restock. I didn't realize I had so much, oh my gosh. Alright, so the washi tape is all accounted for. We're gonna have a lot of washi tape for Black Friday. So I hope you guys either want washi tape or you know people that want washi tape for Christmas because I have a lot. So I I have about I just lost that goodness. I have about half of the sticker sheets printed. So I'm gonna get started on that while the rest of them are printing. And hopefully we can get this task wrapped up pretty soon because you guys know how long it takes me to do washi tape. So I'm just gonna try my best to work at the speed of lightning. Okay, we'll see how we do. With my dysautonomia, oh. I get like adrenaline dumps just out of nowhere, and it's just all of a sudden my heart.
part just goes really fast and I just get like an impending doom feeling like I'm gonna need to like run a race or that the world is ending and I start to get panicky. Oh, I hear that happens. Ugh, okay. That always happens just out of nowhere and it always just like gets me by surprise. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the gift bags. So they turned out super cute, but there was some miscommunication somewhere with the manufacturer and the printer because the bag for the design, like the template I was sent, I was under the impression that there's this certain part on the bottom that it would be like the very bottom of the bag. So I put my logo there and I left it just color and no other artwork because I thought it was the bottom of the bag. Because it had like a line going across it as if it would fold. Apparently that was not the case and that was just showing where the fold of the bag is like When a bag, you know, like a gift bag like this like you fold it up So the template was very misleading because I that's not what I thought it was gonna be the quality is phenomenal It is top tier, but the placement is too high up. So I'm just gonna show you I'm very happy with them overall, but it is my first ever gift bag, so I'm excited. So this is the first gift bag. So as you can see, this part, like on the back, it's my logo. I had thought this was going here. I didn't realize it was this folded part of the bag. I mean, I don't know, it was, it was misleading. It confused me, obviously. So the design, obviously, I wanted it centered, but it's up here. So. I'm gonna sell them as misprint bags, but they're still super cute. So this is the first one. It's Mary Bookmas featuring the Winter Snow Globe Bookshop. And then on the side is the Snow Globe pattern. They're cute. And then the other one is Warm Winter Wishes. And again, it's the same thing. And on the back, it's the logo, but you know, I mean, it still works, it's still cute. And then the side is this pattern. I mean, overall, like quality wise, I'm very happy with them. And I think they're just adorable. I've always wanted my art on like gift bags like this and I just think they're so cute. So, so we're gonna have gift bags for the Black Friday shop update and the sale. Those are also gonna be included in the sale. I actually just got an email that I'm laughing at myself when I have to show you this. So like, I'm gonna stand back here, but as I was talking, I was standing like this Chris calls this my flamingo pose because like when I'm talking and I start to get lightheaded, I'll stand like this to get blood flow kind of back in my legs. <laughs> I just did that without noticing and I was like, I just have to show you, it's my flamingo pose. <laughs> so as I was saying, I need to sit, I'm lightheaded, hold on. There we go, sorry about that. I haven't had my electrolyte drink yet, so my blood pressure has been really low. When I go upstairs, I'm gonna go get that actually because I've, I need to do that so I can still keep going here. But I just got an email after I finished packing up the washi tape that the new book review journals just got delivered. So I'm gonna go, there's like nine boxes, eight or nine boxes I think. So I'm gonna go bring those in from the porch and bring them down and we're gonna open them together. So before we open the book review journals, I wanted to show you the tote bag. So I don't do many tote bags, but seeing how much everyone loved having a tote bag in the first Emily Crummel design subscription box, that I did back in July. I wanted to do another one. This one is actually a bigger style tote bag and it's kind of more like heavy duty, so to say, tote bag. Here she is. So I put my cannot be trusted in a bookstore design on a tote bag because I figured this would just be the perfect design for a tote bag because you can just bring it with you to a bookstore because you can't be trusted in it. None of us bookworms can. You can just fill it up. Look how many books you could fit in this thing. That is a lot of books, people. That is a lot of books. I'm very nervous to open this box of book review journals because I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Cause this is my first time ordering from this company. I got a sample in and it turned out great. I just hope everything's in order and please, please turn out okay. I'm so nervous. <gasps> okay, so far so good. So far, so good. I love the size. Size looks perfect. Forgot how many I bought of each type. Did I buy this much? Holy moly, Emily, what did you do? I do not remember buying this much, people. Oh boy. I hope you're ready for review journals. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. 
colors on these guys. They are phenomenal. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you. I'm just so happy. All right, let's get these opened up. Ooh. It is perfect. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely perfect. Oh my gosh, okay, that one's good. Let's check this one. I can't get over it. I love the feel of the cover. Oh, this looks amazing too. And that was actually one of the big reasons I wanted to make the switch to a new book review journal company. And I think this is, yeah, this is it. Oh my God. Oh man, these are great. Okay, and the favorite book quotes. Oh, those came out good too. Yay! Oh, this makes me so happy. Guys, they're just perfect. I am so excited with how these came out. Finally, it is finally time that something turned out 100% correct with no errors with the past few weeks that I've been having. So the, we are going to have three different book review journals and then a book quotes journal. So the first one, I don't have names for these yet. It's gonna be something pink, stack something. I don't know, I'm gonna come up with a cute name. Don't you worry, I got it. <laughs> And so this is going to be the first one and every interior for the book review journals, it's the same layout. So every single one has like title, author, format, genre, rating, started, finished, my review, favorite quote. But the little icons down here change based on the book you get. So like this one is like heart book stacks and we'll have an outline of that here. This one has a floral. And then if you do the celestial one, you'll have a celestial book stack, and star icons. And then this one, you have a little vase of flowers and then a cup of whatever drink you want to be drinking. And then we have for the favorite book quotes, that interior is all different quotes. There are 10 quotes you can write per spread. I think it's like 100, 102 pages or something like that. And yeah, you can write a lot of quotes. So if you're like me, I love jotting down quotes that I read in books. So yeah, so I'm so excited. Oh, these are great. I am so excited. So yeah, the great thing about these is that they're wire coil bound. So my other ones are spiral and I've been asked to kind of get like better quality coil binding. So I doing wire and then these covers are a bit thicker and they're a nice glossy like laminated durable feel. And then the interior pages are it's either 70 or 80 text. I gotta check on that, but it's much thicker than what my other one was. And I had actually tested on the sample that I got, like a bleed test, and it didn't bleed. Like pens didn't bleed, highlighters didn't bleed. The only thing that bled a bit was a Sharpie, but I mean, Sharpies bleed through all paper. That's kind of hard. And I don't think people are gonna be writing their book reviews with Sharpies. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. So I'm happy. I'm very, 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 very happy. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna be able to get to right now. It is uh, almost 5 p.m. at this point, so I am going to call it a day and go head out to get some dinner. And you know, maybe, maybe I'll come back down tonight and we'll hang out and do some more work. I don't know, it is Saturday. I want like at least an hour of this whole weekend to just relax for a little bit, so maybe I won't. But uh, either way, you will either see me tonight or tomorrow. And tomorrow we need to do the photo shoot for Black Friday. And oh yeah, you know what? Maybe I will come down tonight because tomorrow I need to spend the day packing grab bags and um, something I like to do for Black Friday called surprise stuff stockings. And it's little Christmas stockings and I just stuff it with surprise stuff from my shop and you don't know what you're getting. And those are like a door buster thing that I do. Maybe I should call it a website buster because I don't have a storefront. A website buster thing that I do. <laughs> and yeah, okay. So I might see you again tonight. We'll see. We'll see how much energy I have and if I get hooked on Love Island or not and if I can pull myself away from it. So I will see you guys either tonight or tomorrow.
Hello everybody, happy Sunday. Yes, I am indeed on the floor right now. Chris and I just hauled down so much stuff. I'm wiped out. Okay, so Black Friday prep mode is in full swing over here. Things are a little bit crazy. Not gonna lie, I don't know how I'm gonna get everything done today. I'm panicking just a little bit. The good news is that all the products are here. That's the good news. And with my track record the past few weeks, that's amazing. We're way step ahead of the game than how we were with the holiday launch. But with Black Friday, I am restocking a lot of things. So we have a lot of restock deliveries. So I need to go through and quality check and inventory count and update that on the site. And, and then I need to go through and get all the new things together and set those aside so I can photograph them today. And I did finish all the earrings last night, which was good. But then also today, somehow, I need to get a head start on making the mystery grab bags and the surprise stuff stockings so we have a lot to do today hopefully we can get it all done and let's just get started Super happy because a shipment of these notepads, the Cozy Gingerbread notepads for the holiday launch just arrived because these sold out. I think this was like the first thing to sell out, I think, in the holiday launch that are earrings, but this was very popular. So I just got a huge box in of more of these. <laughs> I can't remember if I showed you guys this or not, but the bookmarks that were peeling, like the laminated bookmarks that I tried, uh, I think it was the last video, so hard because I don't want to throw them away, but I literally can't do anything else with them. I can't even, I don't even feel right putting them in mystery grab bags. So this is, did I show you what they look like? Look at that. Look at that. Like I can literally, ready? That is not okay. <laughs> that is not okay. And I have, like 2,000 bookmarks that are laminated like that. I mean, thankfully the company was amazing and gave me a refund. However, I asked them, I'm like, can I send these back to you? Like, so you can at least recycle the paper somehow? And they're like, no, just throw them away. And it just, it, all this pretty artwork, I hate just throwing it away, but like literally you can't do anything with it. So I don't know what to do with all these. Ugh. I may have gone a little overboard with notebooks for Black Friday, but you know what? It's all right. The good thing about Black Friday, like when I buy all the products for it, is that all the designs are like everyday designs. Well, most of them. So if they don't all sell, it's fine because it's not like it has to sell by Christmas because it's like a holiday design. So that's the good news. But I'm very excited because I'm restocking some of our previously sold out notebooks that haven't been restocked in a while. And then I also got some, I think I got two, two brand new line notebooks. So one of the new ones is I put my cannot be trusted in a bookstore design on a notebook. And the next one is my best selling book. Oh, that is upside down. My apologies. My best selling bookmark is my bookworm essentials bookmark. And I was like, you know what? Why have I never made that design into a notebook? So it's going to be a notebook for Black Friday. Now comes the fun task of counting them all. exciting about these gift bags like the size of them I was just thinking of this as I was unboxing them I think they're like the perfect size to fit a book let's test this out we gotta test this out all right are we ready are we ready okay bag book ah! oh my gosh you guys that fits perfect look at that, look at that. A bookish bag, perfect for fitting a book. This is so exciting! So 
a bit bummed about the tote bags because only 19 out of 40 of them are like perfect print quality. 21 have oopsie things that either have some printer streaks on it or like ink and random spots. I'm like, I've bought from this company before and they've never had an issue so I don't know what the deal is. But I am gonna just list those as oopsie ones and then I'll have the perfect quality too. So we will have two options. <laughs> I don't know if my shelves have ever been this stocked before. We have a lot of product. I'm hoping I didn't go too big because I don't want to be stuck with a lot of things, but you know what? It's fine. We're just going to hope for the best and we'll see what happens, but I am going to take a quick lunch break and then when I come back, we are going to move over to finally doing the photo shoot of everything and it shouldn't take too long for the photo shoot because it's not like my big launches where there's just tons and tons of products. It's just like... 15 things? Something like that? 15 or so. Give or take. We'll find out when I do it. But that's what we're gonna do when I come back. And then I want to start packing the mystery grab bags and the surprise stuff stockings. So we will see what we get done. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Lunch didn't last long. I tried this new smoothie recipe and apparently my body doesn't like it. I have the heart. I think I've mentioned this before, but I have the hardest time eating with my Ehlers-Danlos. It um, really just affects my digestive system and I'll just get feel so sick very easily, whether if I eat too much or just certain foods, for some reason I just feel sick. And they've been trying to figure out if there's like any like mast cell issues going on, but I'm thinking it was the banana because I've been told to try to avoid histamine foods and I haven't had a banana in probably a year. So I feel like it was the banana because I like got halfway through having it and I just felt so sick. My nose started getting stuffy and runny, and I got a headache in the back, and it, yeah, I think it was the banana. So, stop drinking the smoothie. Don't feel like eating right now because I'm really nauseous, but the show must go on. I need to photograph everything. <laughs> this is my life. Like, there's nothing glamorous about this. I'm normally, I'm either in pain or I feel nauseous all the time, or I have a really bad neck headache. There's literally no in between. It is one of the three. Something is always going on. <laughs> so, yeah, it is photo shoot time. One of the things that I want to make sure to do for Black Friday is I'm actually going to be including all the extra stock from the October Emily Cromwell Designs box because I bought too much and I have a lot of extra stuff. So I was like, you know what, Black Friday is the perfect time. Let's just throw it in there. I'm going to do this extra stuff. Then I'm also going to include the extra bookmarks and stickers from the past few months of the monthly bookmark and sticker clubs. Usually I release those in my shop. It's like two months after their designated month, but I've, I've fallen behind. I have fallen off the bandwagon and uh, yeah, some of them it's been several months at this point. So that's going to be in Black Friday. It's going to be a busy day. I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for it, but I'm ready. Black Friday is really like my last big hoorah of the year because I have no more launches after Black Friday. Like all December, I'm just packing orders and that's it. Like the only new things that we're going to have is the like December, January monthly clubs and then a few more book sleeves, but there's no more like launches. So this is it. This is the last one until January. It was wild to say. Okay, so it is after five at this point. We got pretty much everything done except the grab bags and the surprise stuff stockings. Inventory is counted, quality checked, photographs are done, video content is done, but obviously tonight I need to edit all the photos, put together the videos, and I didn't even get to packing the mystery grab bags or the stuff stockings, but I need to eat. So Chris just offered to take me to go get some dinner, so we're gonna go get dinner, and then after dinner, we are going to be back down here uh, starting to pack all that stuff. Hello everybody, I am back. It is now almost 8 p.m. By the way, do not mind my face. 
and my ears flush and bright red. That's another thing that happens. My body sometimes doesn't like when I eat certain things and I will just flush and start burning up. So don't worry about me. I'm good. This is my norm. So yeah, usually at 8 p.m. on a Sunday, I'm not down here in my studio working. But it is Black Friday week, so we are working. Um, I am going to try to get a head start on packing the mystery grab bags. I don't know how many I'm going to get done. We'll see, because I still have so much left to do tonight and this week. So I just, I need like extra days in a weekend or I need extra hours in a day. One of the two would be great, but we are going to try to pack mystery grab bags. My mom's going to come down to help me. So hopefully we can get a lot done. I think this is the fullest the Oopsie mystery grab bag box has ever been. It is so full. This is a little bit insane. Okay. <laughs> it's just pushing me back. I'm not even pushing it. Come on. <laughs> I, can't. I can't do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Why is it so heavy? Okay, all the mystery grab bags are done. Mom is on the other side of me uh, packing up the mystery bookmark grab bag. So it's we're gonna have mystery grab bags where there's just bookmark ones and then mystery grab bags where um, you're guaranteed um, an oopsie book sleeve, which like the seams are a bit messed up. Notepads, sticky notes, stickers, washi tape, keychains, there's all sorts of fun stuff but you're guaranteed to get a book sleeve. It's the uh, pumpkin, well you saw what I was filming, the pumpkin Halloween uh, bookshop one. And then I, all I have left to do is the surprise stuff stocking. So the mystery bags, that is all mostly like oopsie products and like retiring des designs, but the surprise stuff stockings is all like perfect quality stuff. I think I'm just gonna put like bookmarks, stickers. Um, I'm not sure what else in it. Maybe sticky notes? Maybe I'll do sticky notes. So I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> So the stockings are a no-go because, um, yeah, let's, yeah, let's look at that size. It is way too small. There's not much I can fit in there. So, uh, I just had to buy some bigger ones. I'm gonna do the same ones I did last year, which have cute little, like, characters on them, so that'll work out. But those won't get here till Tuesday. So we are not stocking stuffing s wait, whoa, I don't- <laughs> We are not stuffing stockings tonight. I had the hardest time saying that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna return these. They're cute though, they're cute. They're just a little bit too tiny. Okay, so, um, it is now almost 10 p.m. We have made it to the end of a very long weekend. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna get up again tomorrow and be packing orders and do even more prep, so I'm exhausted but I'm very happy we got all of it done and it was worth it to push through it because like I said, this is my last big launch of the year. So there's no more after this except like a few book sleeves or something like that. But this is the last one that's gonna take this much effort and I'm gonna hibernate for a while because I'm tired. But I couldn't have done it without my mom tonight because she packed up all the bookmark grab bags and I did the mystery grab bags. So that's going to be it for this video. I need to go relax for a bit and get ready for a very, very crazy week of promoting Black Friday deals, putting together all the content, writing newsletters, having Black Friday, having Thanksgiving. It's going to be, it's going to be a busy week. <laughs> so 
So thank you guys so very much for watching this video and hanging out with me this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, so again, our Black Friday sale and our Black Friday shop update are all going live on Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And so we're gonna have the 25% off sale, which is gonna be site-wide, and that's gonna be an automatic discount, so you don't need to like do a code or anything, but the discount won't show up until you're in your cart. So when you're on the site, nothing's gonna look discounted, but when you're in the cart, it's gonna show the discount. So just putting that out there because sometimes there's some confusion but then the shop update is going to be all the new things that we photographed this weekend and organized like the notebooks book review journals restock of the washi tape so much stuff and that's all included in the 25 percent off sale too so it's gonna be a crazy day i think i'm ready i hope i'm ready <laughs> i don't have any choice but to be ready so yeah we're just gonna go all in and hope for the best so i hope you guys have a wonderful week if you celebrate thanksgiving happy thanksgiving from me to you and i hope you guys are reading some amazing books and until next time i hope you guys are doing well and, and enjoying the holiday season and i will see you in my next video bye